You're listening to Living in Spain Podcasts with David Wright. Hi guys, my name is David Wright and welcome to another one of my podcast shows. So today I just want to tell you about my interview that I had here when I got married to my wife who is a Spanish citizen here and it was a a bit of a a mistake on my part, the interview that is, because I didn't realise I was actually having an, an official interview. But anyway, here goes the story. So I was looking to get married to my wife here. I've been married seven years now and when we wanted to apply for a Spanish marriage license, I was told by my wife that we needed to go and speak to the local council to get the license. Anyway, so what I thought was just a normal signing of the paperwork, were well, it was not. So anyway, this is what happened. So we went to the council offices and we told them that we wanted to get a marriage license and they sat me down and with my wife and said uh, okay fill in this form and that form and all the rest of it and then I started talking to us about where we were getting married and what we wanted to do and everything it was all quite an informal chat but it was in a private office with two Spanish ladies one a little bit older than the other anyway so we were chatting away quite friendly for a little while filled in the paperwork and everything and then they asked my wife to leave the room they started talking to me. This was all in Spanish at the time. My Spanish wasn't too bad, I thought, at that time. Anyway, so they said, um, so where are you from in the UK? So I started telling them and that. And they said about my mum and dad. And they asked if I had any brothers and sisters. And I said, yes, I've got a brother and a sister living in, in Brighton. And they said to me, um, OK, so about your wife, um, how long have you been together? And I said, oh, it's been about four years now. And they went, OK, fine. And and what's Yoni's mum and dad's name? And, and I said, oh, I don't know. I, I can't remember her dad's name. And they went, really? And I said, well, her parents have been dead a long time before we met. So we don't really talk about it. But I think her dad's name's Juan and her mum's name's Carmen don't know where I come up with them names but anyway there you go so they wrote it down and I thought okay this is a bit strange and then they said to me so you've got a brother and a sister in the UK I said yeah one brother and one sister okay fine they said and where did you meet so I said oh that's easy we, we met on a barbecue on the on the beach in in El Maria and they went oh okay lovely you know and asked me started asking me some other questions and that and then and they asked me what I thought was a bit of a weird question they said how long have you been intimate and I went, how long have I been intimate? I said, that's a bit personal, isn't it? And they went, oh, okay. And they moved on. I didn't quite understand the question. Anyway, they weren't actually asking me how how long I've been intimate with her. They were asking me something completely different. But anyway, so that was that. And then they they asked me to step outside and they called my wife in. They called Yani, who wasn't my wife at the time. Anyway, so she's gone in, sat down. About 10, 15 minutes later, they called me back in and I went in and sat down with them and we looked at each other and Yanni was looking at me with a very strange face and I said, what's the matter? And she said, that was an interview, you totally messed it up. And I went, what? And they said, and they looked at the two people and they said, yes, um, Yanni think, thinks that you've got three brothers and sisters. And I went, what? No, I've got two, a brother and a sister. And Yanni looked at me and she said, but you've got a stepsister. I went, yeah, a stepsister, but... I don't class that as a sister, so I've got a brother and a sister. Oh, they said, so So you've got three brothers and sisters. I went, well, technically, yeah, three. Okay. And uh, and she said, you don't remember my mum and dad's name? I went, no. I said, we don't really talk about it. I can't remember your mum and dad's name. And most of her friends are called Juan anyway, so it's a good guess. She went, no, no, no. And then how long have we been together, she said? I said, oh, I don't know, about four years. She said, no. It's two and a half years. I went, well, it seems like four. And everybody laughed. And then she said, and where did we meet? I said, we met on the beach at the barbecue. She said, that was after we went to the club and we met in the in the nightclub. I went, oh, yeah, that's right. So every question they asked me, I got totally wrong. Anyway, so then they asked us to call in the witnesses. Now, we'd been asked to take along two people that had known me for at least five years living in Spain. So I took along a couple of elderly ladies that I'd worked for and been friendly with and met and seen in a few of the bars in town. So they walked in and they didn't speak very good Spanish either of them. So they brought in an interpreter. And this interpreter was a young Spanish girl, well, in her her 30s, I suppose. 
I looked at her, I thought, I know her. Anyway, she looked at me a bit strange. So she started talking to people. How long have you known David? What does he do? This, that, and the other. And they started talking about my carpentry and building business that I had and the work that I'd done for them. And then she looked at me, this interpreter, and she said, I, I know you. And I went, yeah, I think I know you. She said, didn't you come and do the work on my door, on my front door? And I went, yeah, that's right. I said, actually, I remember that now. And anyway, what it was, there was an English client had a house near the beach and I was working on their house and the neighbour was this girl, this interpreter. She asked me to go around and plane a little bit off the bottom of the front door that was rubbing on the floor. So I did that, took the door off, planed it, put it back on and I didn't charge her because she was a neighbour, very friendly and that was that. And she said, yeah, yeah, I remember you there. And then she said, oh, and she said, do you do painting and decorating? And I said, yeah, I do painting. She said, only we need the house painted. I said, yeah, and I gave her a business card. And then the two people that were interviewing me, totally off track, they said, oh, do you do this and that? I went, yeah, so I gave them a business card as well. So that sort of made us all very friendly and all happy and giggly and joking and everything. And uh, they signed the paperwork, signed the permission, and that was it. But I totally screwed it all up. I didn't know it was a, a proper interview. And apparently my wife told me afterwards that what it was was they were vetting me to see if I was just marrying a Spanish citizen just to get a passport. But I think they knew with me running a business here and being self-employed and being in the country for about it was a bit, almost 10 years in, I think, when we, we were applying for the licence. So everything was OK in the end. But I really messed it up big time. Anyway, so... A few months later, I needed to renew my passport, so we had to go down to Malaga to the British consulate office there to get my passport paperwork done or something. I can't remember exactly what it was. Anyway, so I went down there, and uh, I said to my wife on the way, she was talking to me about passports and that, and so she said, well, can I get a, an English passport? I said, yeah, but don't don't ask for it in the embassy, because they think that you're after a British passport, you know, you're a Spanish person, and you just want to marry me for the price, so they go into that, and it might rock the boat. Oh, yeah, I won't say anything. Anyway, so we've had the interview down there, sat, went in the room with the guy, it wasn't an interview, but just told him what I needed, filled in some forms, all very friendly. So as we're getting up from the table with him, about to walk out, Yanis turned around and said, uh, oh, and so I can get an English passport once I'm married then, can I? And I looked at her and she looked at me and he looked at me and he went, well, um, I went, no, no, no. I said, she doesn't want that. I said, she's only just saying that, but she doesn't want that. She wants to keep her. Oh, OK, and we walked out. So she nearly put her foot in it as well. So, guys, when you're getting married to a Spanish citizen here in Spain, you will have to have an interview and trust me it's pretty formal interview even though you might not think so so be aware of it and do practice some of the questions with your partner beforehand to save a bit of embarrassment so there you go guys a little bit of a weird story but if it's been of interest to you please leave a like or comment at the end of this show thanks for listening if you have enjoyed this podcast by david wright then you will love his new books out now on Amazon and Kindle, packed with money-saving tips and information on living and working in Spain. Just go to livinginspainbooks.com. David also has a popular blog for expats in Spain. Come and take a look now at britishexpatsinspain.com.